And we're back with possibly the final episode of Barn Finders. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and let's get with it. There may be one more after this, but we'll see. Job read, Duke Tucker, Summer Camp Reward. Hey, Barn Finders, remember old times that we had fun on the summer camp? They've closed their doors before. I got a chance to win one of those fancy backpacks. Could you bring one to me? I'll be grateful till the cows go home. I'll pay extra, so we'll take the job. We'll go here, and where is it? Summer camp. Wow, a thousand dollars to get there. Good thing we've got money. Because clearly we wouldn't. As we head to the scout camp, which has probably been used for a sexy time camp for counselors. It would appear they have a endurance track. Athletics trackers, I mean, good old times. All right, so welcome to summer camp. Welcome to summer camp, boy. Today I'll be your scoutmaster. If you want something, I'll be waiting inside the office, okay. Well, that's it. Hi, Uncle. Pretty as a peach in those days. Good luck, youngin. All right, so this is going to be a process. I can already tell. Just based on the way it's being described. Bet you we have to do some of these scout scout things, the summer things. It's probably the same difference. Wars tables. They really got someone to stack that. Gain three scout badges by completing challenges. Complete obstacle courses to gain badges. Okay. Bigfoot by using three forest ranger observation spots and okay. Build tent to gain camper badge. Okay, so he gave us some insight of what we need to do. camper a 
lot of nothing over here. Let's see what they want us up there. Clearly that's some quicksand. Actually walking a ton of that. Shit. We gotta go all the way back. That sucks. Oh shit. <laughs> Is there a way to cheat this? There probably was. And I bet you that would have been it. Go to the office in a minute. Want to check out what's down here. Okay. I know that we need to find like these places here, I think is what we've discussed. I fall through the freaking thing. Okay, so 
so clearly there's some cameras we gotta find too. First one's a tent. Harp. A green tent and then a tent with light. And then a regular tent and a tarp. There we go. One done. And we need two cameras at least there. As we will sneak along here. Okay, so we've got this area that we don't know anything about. Bunch of buildings, so let's get started. Clearly, the bathroom area. Looks like that's everything. Yep. Dining hall. He was always stealing your food, huh? Let's take a look. I'll start off by the place's dump. Two items here. Here's another item. around
have to come up there in a little bit. We know where the three cameras are. Which is, I think, one of the things that the alien was talking about. These are actually pretty cool. They should they should try to make a line of that, I'm not gonna lie. You trucker. Oh, it's all the characters, bunks. Dark Samantha. Must be the alien from the moonshine. Billy. And Sebastian. Not Sebastian gets two bunks. The fuck? Oh, I see. They there's some attention to detail they didn't do. Okay, well, it is what it is. Oh, Bobby Gray. Yeah, Bobby Gray, the alien. Of course, our friend Billy here, Uncle Billy's gonna have the biggest dump out of all of them. But no dirty magazines. Okay, that's good. Move on. Here's the warehouse. Let's see what we can find in here. Maybe we only need the one camera. Oops, this is there something here. Ah, the artist in heaven, thy thou artist findeth thy greatest thing, the golden toilet paper of light. Which is now okay. Bill says there's something here. It could be upstairs. Does this count? No. Uh, I don't want to know why there are shackles below a children's hut in, or children, the warehouse at a summer camp. Starting to get kind of, starting to get a little Epstein-y here, just saying. Okay, that, the, okay, the trail's gone cold. We found the golden toilet paper, so there shouldn't be any mysteries with that. I'm going to try to kiss Samantha here. I'm not crying, kiddo. Go back to your job. Whatever. He did, she slapped him right in the fucking face. Get your fucking dirty ass lips off me. Her lips are only for us. Okay. We roughly search outside. We searched outside and inside of all the buildings. But by using three forest ranger observation spots to make one zoomed photo of each to gain the tracker badge. go so Bigfoot's out there that's great I love it and we know where the other tracker locations pretty much are I 
we do know we're also missing a few items. Oh, Bigfoot's house. Liked it, looked cozy. Comfortable. Let's get the other thing so we can get the bad scout badges and move on here. That's just great. Sebastian is buddies with the Sasquatch. They're best friends. They get high together all the time. Definitely run this while we're on our way back because I don't think we found everything. We might have, but I, don't, I feel like we're missing something. One of the puzzle items, but again, I'm not, like I said, I'm not worrying about it yet until we know for sure that we've missed something. Awesome. We've not found everything yet. Okay, let's get our chicken dude out. Okay, that's relatively clear. and get up there. Okay. So we found that. If we missed anything. Okay. The only 
thing we haven't checked yet is the course, but there's still more to look, so we can look on the pier. Though I think we checked the pier already, so I'm not going to check it again. Unless I'm desperate and trying to find stuff. place that's left is near the obstacle course and that's assuming we even find anything we messed with that but what does that even accomplish here it just locks everything up so gotta be something we can get now because we locked it up we have to go this way not letting me go down the track so straight up I think it's just a cheat a way to kind of cheat the game maybe Darn good time. But nothing. <laughs> and that's where they lost. The counselor lost his Virginia Mate under the bleachers oh god at least we got the joke right? okay so let's take a look and see if we found everything there is to find found it all oh kiddly doodly k or oakley dokley all right let's assemble the uh, scout uniform or scout master's uniform, probably. Because that's not creepy at all.
fucking chair. Oh man, this thing's so massive. Cars never seem to escalate much more than 2k, so that's kind of a lot, kind of lame. Stinky TV. Car the hard hat need repairs. There's a guitar. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, let's turn in the backpack. Which, yeah, we'll turn in the backpack. And then let's do what we know is missing. That's a hundred percent complete catalog. Oh, look, you can change the way these things look. Oh, that's pretty funny. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end the day. There's the final golden toilet paper there. Sweet. We found the last golden toilet paper. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see. It looks like there's a new email. Even though it doesn't say it, it's got the little message. I think that's it. I don't know why it shows that there's mail when there's not. Every map has been complete. All the DLC is done. So I guess that's it, guys. Now we could sell all this stuff and, you know, go through episodes of me doing that, but I, I think that's counterintuitive. I don't see a reason to do that. We've come a long way in this game. We've we've done everything I think there is to do. If there's any other DLCs or anything else, I definitely would like to check it out. But for the most part, I'd say that with the summer camp completed and everything else that we've done, I can't say much more about it, really. Other than that, thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And check out my channel at twitch.tv slash for live gaming action. And I want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh, Barn Finders series. Um, I like it. It's it's cute. 
Um, e if they have everything in place, they could easily make more. More content if they wanted to for it. Um, the official completion, we saw the copyright really for this was about, um, what'd they say? Uh, 2020. So this, you know, completed, it's been out a while. It's been out for a couple years now, several years already. Um, in like kind of out like a alpha or, 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 you know, that early release mode kind of a thing. Um, and it's been fine for what it is. Um, during that time, but to see it kind of in its completed state with the little DLC that comes with it. Is the DLC worth it? I double-checked uh, between this episode and the last episode. It's like $11. So for three new maps, I would think it was three maps and another... Um, and another... Three maps and another... Uh, bid war. I, I, it's a little pricey. I would wait to see if you... I'd pick it up for $5 maybe. Um, and this game's definitely worth, you know, 15 bucks or 20 bucks. Um, you get, you definitely get your, 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 your kicks out of it. That's for sure. And for, you know, what it's worth, I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's kind of like a cross, it's like Reseteer without the adventuring combat stuff. And in place of that, it is the, you, it's more of an exploration game beyond that. Um, so definitely when it comes to simulation games, this is easily an average game. A game that's average to me but it's a good average so it's like a six out of ten so it's no, it's not doing anything mind-blowing it's or mind boggling it's definitely got good atmosphere it's got good humor and jokes uh, the, the the selling in the store is a little slow they could have more customers so that way you can cycle through your stuff better they the way they programmed it clearly could be better but I mean if this is their first go or even their second or third and you know and this but this is their first selling purchase game i'm okay with it um i think i got it for 15 dollars when it came out or something like that it was like 13 or something and then the dlc i remember getting pretty cheap and i don't know why and i don't remember if i had done something in order to get it really cheap because i don't remember it being 11 dollars um but yeah for what it's worth it's easy this is easily in its completed form with the dlc i wouldn't pay more than 25 bucks for it i enjoyed it um, it's got a charm to it. I will say if you watched me play through it, unfortunately, I will say that you kind of know where everything is to a degree. So there is an element of lacklusterness that you'll get maybe playing through it again, unless you let you, you just wait quite a while. You pick the game up when it's cheap and you just sit around for a while and just let it ride. And eventually you get to a point where you not you don't have much recollection of the game. You play this and you'll have a great time. So I think it's quite enjoyable. I do recommend this game, uh, especially if you're not used to like simulation games. This is definitely an exploration stuff, and you can kind of see how my exploration skills really paid off in the long run. So, with that said, I want to thank you guys for stopping by, like, and subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, Twitch TV, Subject Series for more live gaming action. And again, thank you guys for enduring this bizarre playthrough of Barn Finders. Coming up after this uh, for simulation games, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next. I haven't really thought about it. I thought about Jurassic World Evolution. I really am considering that. I haven't, I haven't considered it fully, but it is something I am willing to uh, take a look into because... The new one just came out not that long ago, and I thought about that, and I'm like, well, I haven't even done the first one, so, and then I don't want to do them back to back, so, <laughs> definitely I got to get through the first one before I can do the second one. So, anywho, with that said, thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.